Thank you for coming to this talk. I'm going to present our paper Deep Entity Matching with Pre-trained Language Models. This is John Wolf with my colleagues from Megagon Labs, Professor An Hai Dong from University of Wisconsin Medicine, and Wan Chiu Tan from Facebook AI. Entity matching is the problem that given two collections of data entries, for example tables, collections of JSON objects or text documents, find all pairs of entries that refer to the same real-world entity such as products, businesses, etc. This is an instance of the um, entity matching problem. So we have two tables of products uh, or records for different data sources, and we would like to find records that refer to the same real-world product. Because of this simple problem definition, as you can imagine, entity matching is one of the most fundamental problems in data integration and has a wide range of applications, including entity search, data cleaning, and joining data from different data sources. EM is typically done in a two-phase manner. The first phase is the blocking phase. The goal of blocking is to avoid the quadratic size pairwise comparisons by keeping only candidate pairs that are likely to match. In this ex example, we can select pairs that share at least one token to reduce the number of candidates from 9 to only 3. The blocking method is typically designed as a fast simple heuristics with a high recall so that most uh, real matches are retained. The second step is matching, which performed the more expensive pairwise comparison. There has been many techniques proposed for matching, including rule-based methods, crowdsourcing, learning-based methods, including deep learning. However, EM remains a challenging task even for the state-of-the-art EM solutions. Let's look at some examples. To match the first candidate pair, the matching method needs to figure out that um, immersion in the left is the same as immersion in the right and Dilux 2.0 is the same as Dilux 2 on the right. For the second pair, although the two records look very similar, they are not the same because they are softwares of different editions. For the last pair, although they look very different it, uh, by the uh, names and prices, they are actually a good match because their product IDs are the same. Um, as uh, uh, these examples highlights, EM is hard because it requires language understanding capabilities and figuring out what information is important for matching and what is not. In fact, even the state-of-the-art entity matching solution failed to correctly match or unmatch in um, all these three cases. To address this challenge, we present DITO, a novel entity matching solution based on pre-trained language models such as BERT. DITO casts entity matching as a sequence pair classification task to leverage language models which has been shown to generate highly contextualized embeddings that capture better language understanding compared to traditional word embeddings. Since pre-trained language models take um, sequences as input, um, we use, um, the, to, use uh, uh, to use the language model, DITO first need to serialize a pair of entity records into a sequence of tokens. This is done by adding special tokens, uh, COL or, e uh, or VAL, which indicates the start um, of an attribute name or a attribute value as this. Then for candidate pair E1 and E2, um, it, it is serialized as follows. Uh, um, this is done by adding more separator tokens SAP and a special token CLS to generate the contextualized sequence embedding. Next, detail follows the typical steps of language model fine tuning. We add the linear and softmax layer on top of the output of the language model's uh, transformer layers, um, initialize the model with the pre-trained weights, and train the model on the label EM dataset until convergence. And for those who are not very familiar with pre-trained language models, a typical pre-trained language model consists of an embedding layer, uh, multiple, uh, for example, 12 transformer layers, which use self-attention mechanism to generate the contextualized embeddings, and finally, the CLS tokens captures a sequence embedding that can be used to perform the classification. And in our implementation, we use the Roberta language model for higher accuracy and Distilbert for faster training and prediction. Next, DITO further improves its matching capability um, through three optimizations. First, to help the language model to focus on the most important matching information, DITO allows domain experts to inject domain knowledge by set, specifying important matching information such as product ID. DITO adds additional special tokens such as ID and slash ID such that the language model is more likely to capture them. Next, 
one uh, major challenge in applying pre-trained language model is that the uh, max sequence length. For example, BERT can only take at most 12 subword tokens as input, while truncating the um, um, NTD entries can discard the most important matching information. Dito applies a summarization technique based on TFIDF to long sequences so that only the most essential tokens are retained and used for EM. Finally, to address the requirement of having a large high-quality label dataset, um, Dito applies data, data augmentation to generate additional training examples from existing ones. Moreover, Dito augments um, training data with difficult examples to challenge the model to learn harder. This is done by operators such as dropping spans, swapping two attributes, etc., so that the model can learn invariance properties such as the prediction should be independent of the column order. We also apply a data augmentation technique called mixed DA, which generates partial um, augmented sequences by interpolation. You can find out more details in our paper. Now let's see some experiment results on two real-world benchmarks. The first benchmark called ER Magellan consists of 13 datasets from various domains such as publication, products, and businesses. These datasets are further divided into three categories. The structure category consists of matching regular tables. The dirty category contains of tables where data noise is injected, such as randomly setting some values to nulls. And the textual category consists of datasets with at least one field of long text, such as product description or a whole Wikipedia article about a, book, about a company. The second benchmark is the WDC product matching dataset. The goal of this task is to match product records from different e-commerce websites. It contains over 200,000 labeled product pairs from four categories. This benchmark also provides subsamples of the training set to evaluate the label efficiency of the entity matching methods. We compare data with DeepMatcher, the previous state-of-the-art deep learning-based entity matching ma uh, model. And for each experiment, we report the average F1 score or over five repeated runs. First, on the ER, bench uh, ER Magellan benchmark, we see that across all the 13 datasets, detail outperformed DeepMatcher and by a significant 9.43% F1 on average and up to uh, 32%. We also found that detail is particularly good at datasets that are small, noisy, or text heavy. For example, in this dataset, iTunes, um, Amazon, where the task is about matching music in iTunes and in Amazon website, the dataset has a dirty version with, noisy, uh, with noise injected. We can see that for the noisy setting, the performance of deep matcher degrades by over 10%, while for detail, the performance degrades uh, only by less than 1.5%. For the WC product matching datasets, um, again, Dito achieved the new state-of-the-art results when using all training data from all the categories. Dito achieved a F1 score of 94%, which is about 4% improvement compared to the previous best result. Dito not only outperformed the measure across all settings, but more interestingly, we found that it outperformed it when it is given only half or less of the training data. So in conclusion, Dito achieved the new state-of-the-art performance of entity matching by leveraging pre-trained language models. It also has the advantage of being more robust to noisy and textual data and require less label examples. In our paper, we also show that while the language understanding capability is the key, the three optimizations, domain knowledge, summarization, and data augmentation, all of them are important. We also show that Dito is practical by integrating it in a full EM pipeline which has achieved promising results in a real-world company matching data sets.